Hello everyone, my name is Christopher, and welcome back to the Bowley Grow Homestead. In case you had the misconception that I was only a super big Star Trek fan, I would just have you know that Jurassic Park was my original sci-fi first love. Uh, it's why I became a geologist and paleontologist, so you will likely see many Jurassic Park references on this channel just as much as Star Trek. Anyways. Out of the three of you who voted on Instagram last week, two of you voted for squash seeds. So this video is going to be the uh, 2019 seeds, uh, the squash plants I plan on growing. So stick around. Homesteading, the original frontier. These are the adventures of the Boldly Grow Homestead. It's continuing mission to coexist with the environment, to find new plant varieties and new inspirations to boldly grow like no one has grown before. Alrighty, so if you saw my post on Instagram several weeks back, um, you'll know that I have two garden beds, or at least two primary garden beds um, on the homestead. First is the, the main one, which is gonna, which is 24 feet by 12 feet, and it has a lot of our flowers and, and most of what we're growing. But then we also have a, a strip on the side of the house that's about 18 feet by two feet, where we're gonna plant our squashes and some of our other vining plants. Um, however, when I had planned the garden initially, I hadn't yet won the uh, seed to fork giveaway uh, slash sustainable seed giveaway. So I received a few uh, squash seeds in that. So I have to sort of reconfigure the numbers of plants I'm gonna put out there. But nonetheless, I'm excited with the, the varieties I have. Um, let me start with the uh, zucchinis, cause you know, classic. Uh, the first, first of all, what I bought from Baker Creek was the Black Beauty uh, zucchini, which is sort of your, your standard zucchini that everyone's familiar with. I figured since, you know, I originally only planned on having one zucchini that at least I was going to purchase, um, that I'll, I'll stick with the classic. I figured it'd probably be the, one of the more easy ones to grow. You know, maybe that's wrong, but you know, that was, that was my thinking. However, in the giveaway, I also won the Costa Romanesco squash, which is another zucchini. Um, and this is actually one that I had on my list, uh, interestingly enough. I didn't purchase, uh, again, because I, I only planned on purchasing one zucchini this year. But what strikes me about this one is it's a, a ribbed variety, and I'll, I'll toss a picture up on the screen. Um, it's a ribbed variety, so when you slice it, it makes sort of these nice star shapes, which, you know, doesn't necessarily have any uh, implication for taste or anything, but uh, at least visually it's, you know, enticing. So uh, I'm definitely going to try to get le at least one of each plant somewhere in the garden. You know, I might have to move things around, but worth it. Um, of all the squashes, what I'm most excited for is uh, patty pan squash, which um, if you watch the giveaway uh, video, you know I got a patty pan squash in the giveaway. And if you watch the top five seeds of 2019, you know that the Patty Pan is my one of the five that I'm most excited about this year. So the, the variety I purchased was the Bennings Green Tint from Baker Creek. I was originally going to buy this from MI Gardener, but when I made my initial purchase, they were uh, out of stock. So I um, ended up going with Baker Creek. And then the second variety is yellow scallop squash. So basically yellow variety of that. Um, and I've never had a patty pan squash before, but I hear they're delicious. They look really interesting and I'm all for plant, all for plants that look unique and interesting. Um, so I'm really excited to try those this year and uh, taste them for the first time. And uh, hopefully I, hopefully I get some good production, but I have heard that um, they can be difficult in our area. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, I also have a Jester Delicata squash that I also received in the giveaway. Sort of a more oval shaped squash fruit. Um, I hear Delicata squash is delicious. Again, I've never had one. Um, so I'm really excited to try this. This is a uh, Johnny Select Seeds F1 hybrid. Um, so that will be a, another interesting one if I can find space for it to try. And then last, but certainly not least, um, one of my older brothers um, is a huge pumpkin fan. So 
we had to make sure we had at least one pumpkin plant, um, one pumpkin variety out there uh, for him for when he comes to visit. Uh, so we went with the uh, New England sugar pie for a couple reasons. One, in part, because from what I've read, this is a very good variety for if you want to make pumpkin pie, pumpkin bread, pumpkin anything really. Um, and secondly, uh, I was, well, me and my entire family were born and raised in Boston, so New England. Um, so, you know, it, based on the name as well, it sounded pretty good. So, uh, what kind of squashes and pumpkins and all that are you guys growing this year? Um, I'd love to hear that in the comments below. Um, and be sure to check out my Instagram. I'll be posting another poll sometime in the next 24 to 48 hours as to uh, which variety or which um, 2019 seed video to do next. I think I'm tossing up between beans and uh, leafy greens. So if you don't have Instagram or you don't follow me over there, you can always leave a comment down below it as, as well for that. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ring that bell, and don't forget to boldly grill.